All right. We got a request from Home Gnome over on Patreon. And this is Got Your Spin with I Wish I. This is a newer song, 2021. Uh, but I just want to shout out to Home Gnome. Thanks again for the 10th anniversary Got Your Spin concert from 20... Was it 18? 2018 or 2020? I can't remember. I should have looked. But anyway, I had just ordered a Blu-ray disc player for my laptop so I can watch this soon. Really excited about that. But... Uh, I'm excited to check this out too because this is a newer song from when Angie was with the band and I have seen it before I believe on a live stream but now I know the band better and I'm revisiting it so thank you home now let's check it out I wish I could see the world to harmony Ooh, one shot with the moving camera. Okay, pausing it before this because I feel like I know what's coming. But Angie's voice in this song is just... Mm, it's so smooth, so good. She just... I keep saying this, but she's such an awesome addition to Gatrick Spin. I'm so glad that she's with them, just breathing this new, fresh life into the band. And, you know, they've been around a while. They've had a lot of iterations, and I've enjoyed all of them. But Angie is a superstar, you know? She fits in well with the band, because they all are. And then uh, I was told this is Koga <laughs> during the live stream when I watched this. So, yeah. Anyway. Even though I knew something like that was coming, because I've seen this before, like a year ago, it still caught me off guard. Holy buckets. That was intense. <laughs> it's so sick. Okay. I'm just going to listen to that transition over again, because what the heck? It's like so poppy and soft. Ooh. Those drums are so cool. Yuri, right? Or, oh, is Levin? Is it Levin playing the drums? I think that's what uh, Home Gnome told me. This must have been during Yuri's uh, maternity leave, right? <laughs> That scream. Wait, is Hannah and Angie screaming? It sounded like two screams at once. Oh my gosh. Angie screams? <laughs> Not complaining about that shot. Oh. oh yeah! The Hannah Oreo Angie just vocal extravaganza. I think Home Gnome, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't this in their live show they did like this January? The Angie's Coming of Age thing or whatever that was? 
because I remember, I think I remember seeing this live and just the way they trade vocals so effortlessly is crazy. And the melodies, ugh. I have no idea what they're saying during that chorus, but dang, did it touch my soul. Like, they just, Oreo, oh my gosh, sings with so much passion, so much power, and the three of them together, it's it's like a super group vocalist, you know? Just everything about this band, there's so much talent, and they have so much fun, their compositions just so engaging. And I know it's not everyone's thing, but dang, I feel like they're underrated. Uh, maybe that's just in the U.S., but anyway. I gotta hear that transition. Those drums! Koga's walking bass in that? <laughs> Angie's smile. Dude, Oreo looks hot. Thomas of Dire Hair? I'm so sorry. This overwhelming my senses right now. This music video. The music's crazy enough, but then like last time I saw this, I didn't really know the band that well. And now it's like, "Oh wow, they've made all these changes. This is different, you know. Hannah's playing lead guitar and singing now." Love that line. such a massive sonic change up in that song and i'm sorry i keep pausing it like i want to let it play through but there's so many changes in their music and i can't talk over it because every part is different every part's insane so <laughs> that's why i have to pause so much Written the voice. Dual guitar. Okay. See, this is another new thing that I, you know. It's new now that Hannah's on the front, in the front, playing guitar. That dueling guitar harmony right there. Like, yeah, Tomozo's still the lead guitarist, but when Hannah can add those harmonies in there and do her own licks and stuff, that's so cool. This is, like, Gatrick Spin, more epic than ever. Like, as, I, as if they could have gotten more epic from what they already were. But this is just, like... That shot where all five of them were, hold on, right here, it's just like, they're so cool.
you know i don't even know what to say So good. Dang. Here's another thing I appreciate about Angie and why I'm so glad they added her in. Hannah and Ori are already really great at this, but expressing emotion through the lyrics. Again, I have no idea what they're saying, but somehow they reach my emotions in their singing because you can hear the expressions in their voice so well. Like Angie almost breaking into crying there during the vocal part. What the heck? Cool delay guitar in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh it was so captivating they just command your attention at the end there that was so epic one more thing that I didn't comment on is at the end of the chorus when they have that triplet, you know, that's so cool. Anyway, <sighs> sorry for all the pauses. There's just so much happening in this. And let me not deprive you of this final scene. <laughs> Dang. Hold on. There we go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Home Gnome, for the request. I really appreciate it. Um, this is definitely in my top five Japanese bands, I'm pretty sure. Well, when I say that, it's probably all-time bands because all my favorite bands are Japanese now. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for this. Uh, and that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Talk to you next time.